Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. August the 23rd, I'm going to read to you from a revival today. August 1920. The infallible, inerrant, and inspired word of God. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all shall be fulfilled. That's Matthew 5.18. At the Winona Lake Bible Conference, Bob Jones Sr. and William Jennings Bryan spoke in a special rally. During the meeting, Bryan kneeled over or leaned over to Jones and said, if schools and colleges do not quit teaching evolution as a fact, we are going to become a nation of atheists. A few years later, Brian would prosecute an evolutionist in the Scopes trial and would lose against lawyer Clarence Darrow. Many Christians would point to a specific moment that lost the case for Brian and for Christians across the land. Clarence Darrow was cross-examining Brian about creationism and asked specifically about the literal six days of creation. Brian would reply what he did not believe that the days, or would reply that he did not believe that the days in Genesis were literally 24 hour days and with that statement Darrow found the opportunity he was looking for. He criticized Brian for not believing the Bible was fully and completely true. In Darrow's mind, if they were not literal 24 hour days, as the Bible says, but instead representative of eras or eras, what else in the Bible is not to be taken at face value? At that moment, the case was lost for Brian, and many would point to the Scopes trial as the beginning of the de decline of religion in America. Brian's prophecy during the Winona Lake rally would come true as a result of his own doctrinal error. We believe the verbal, plenary, inerrant inspiration of the Bible Verbal, meaning every word is inspired in Jesus. Own words, every jot and every tittle, referring to the smallest of the Hebrew lettering and accent. Plenary, meaning every word is equally inspired. There is not one word that is more important or more inspired than another. And inerrant, meaning that there is not one error in the sacred text of the Word of God. We believe that we have the complete inspired Word of God today. Be very careful of those who begin to explain away the words in the Bible. Thank the Lord today for the truth that you hold in your hand. Determine today to live it, defend it, and use it to teach others. What does Satan want to do? He wants to bring just a little bit of doubt. If he can just sneak that doubt in there. Hath God said. The serpent says to Eve. If he can get you to doubt. If he can make you doubt. You start backpedaling on things. I didn't say that you would understand all of it. and You may never understand all of it. To have the faith to believe that it is the word of God. Some people that just, they do not like that. They say, no, we need a reason to believe. There are some things that if you can't take them by faith, the scripture says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you have to have faith that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. My heart can sing. As I pause to remember A heartache here Is but a stepping stone Along the trail That's winding always 
things of word this troubled world is not my final home but until then my heart will go on singing until then with joy I'll carry on until the day my eyes behold that city until the day God calls me home the things of earth will dim and lose their value if we recall they're only borrowed for a while and things of earth may cause the heart to tremble remember death will only bring us light but until then my heart will go on singing until then with joy I'll carry on until the day my eyes behold that city until the day God calls me Until the day my eyes behold that city, until the day God calls me home. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. Lord, I thank you for your word and for the opportunity to uh, read it, Lord, and and God, I know that if we pray and ask, Lord, that you will direct uh, in the knowledge and the learning of that, God. I thank you for the people that you have given us in our lives to instruct us, to help us, to learn, to teach us, God. But Lord, the Holy Spirit will be our leader and our guide, and I'm thankful for that as well. Lord, I pray that you would bless all those that hear this today. Help us, Lord, to be able to understand that uh, until the day that our eyes behold that city, uh, until you call us home, we'll continue to walk in the direction that you've set us in. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Hope you have a great day. See you back here on Saturday.